Hello, my name is Tim Mansky. I'm going to show an example of converting a fraction, I'm sorry, decimal to a fraction and reducing it to lowest terms. Uh, here's my example. Uh, I have a decimal, 24 hundredths, and I'm going to simplify it as a fraction. Convert it to a fraction and then simplify it. Uh, first step I want to recognize that this is 24 over 100. So that's my first step. The next step I want to do is I want to look for common factors between 24 and 100. They share a common factor of 4. In other words, 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 25. And then since they share the common factor of 4, I can cancel that out. And I can write that as 6 over 25. One other thing you may want to notice. Uh, some this question that might come up is, how do you know what number to reduce it by? Um, if you're not sure, you can use the even rule, meaning that if a number is an even number, or a number that ends the last digit happens to be even, you can divide it by 2. So meaning, so like just to take the same fraction again, let's say for example 24 is an even number. I can divide that by 2, I can take 100, I can divide that by 2. So if you go through the process of simplifying this, let's just say you're going to take each of these numbers and let's say we're going to divide it. I'm going to divide it by 2, I'm going to take 100, I'm going to divide it by 2, um, and then because they're even numbers. 24 divided by 2 would be 12. 100 divided by 2 is going to be 50. Now ask yourself the question. 12 and 50 are both even numbers. So I can, in fact, divide again. So I can say, all right, uh, I can say 12 divided by 2. Divided by 2, I can take 50, divided by 2, and then I can reduce again. And as a result, uh, you will get 6 over 25. So I hope this helps. Uh, again, there's other examples uh, available for you to. Uh, to view. If you have any questions, please contact me. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Please take care and have a nice day.